Myler is live in situate this morning with the efforts to get the lights back on. Anna? Hey, Liam, town officials say this storm brought some of the strongest winds they have ever experienced here in Situate, knocking out the power to all customers. We're on Front Street right now, and it is eerily dark out here. There are no street lamps on. All of the traffic lights are out, but the wind is calming down, so crews are hoping they'll be able to ramp up repairs. Governor Baker toured some of the damage here in Situate yesterday, and this powerful nor'easter brought down trees, branches, and wires all over. Wind gusts exceeded 80 miles per hour causing eight boats to break from their moorings. Officials say the first priority is clearing debris from the roadways. Utility crews are working overnight to repair main transmission lines, but the damage is so widespread getting the power back on to everyone will take days. Additional crews, some from as far away as Canada, have been moved into harder hit areas of the state. Crews are working quickly and safely to address down power lines and fallen trees and restore power. We're going to continue to do all we can to help the utilities to get their work done so that they can help uh, make sure that we get people back up and operational as soon as possible. Officials say that realistically, residential neighborhoods will not start seeing significant power restoration until tomorrow, and that will continue throughout the weekend. Reporting live in situate, Anna Myler, WBZ This Morning.